Big shout out to the folks over at Influencer. Over the weekend, I got sent over this sample of Ralph's Club Perfume. And if you guys have been thinking about pulling the trigger on this one, or if you guys want to know just a little bit more information, or just my thoughts and opinion, sit back, relax, lock in, and we'll get into it right after the intro. See you guys in a minute. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time. My name is Mills and you guys are watching the Fragrantly Locked YouTube channel. All the returning family, thank you guys again for locking back in. I appreciate you guys as always. To get into the review guys, we got this nice little sample size here of Ralph's Club by Ralph Lauren. And this is the Parfum version. Um, it comes in this little small little tester size here. I'm not going to go into a presentation because it really doesn't make any sense to do so. But either way, I'm very grateful to be able to get these fragrances for free because I'm able to test them, be able to give my opinion, and be able to give this kind of review to you guys. Just in case if you're considering on purchasing or if you're considering on waiting or passing it up. So hopefully this helps. All right, guys, if you can see past this little atomizer here, this little small sample size i've been using the heck out of it so i've been spraying this over throughout these last couple days and i've just been really pondering jotting down notes and you know just really formulating my opinion on what i really think about it and i'm going to spray it on today just so i can kind of like recalibrate my thoughts here as you spray it the first thing that comes about is you get this freshness involved yeah, you get this freshness, light, fruity undertone. As I sat on this one for the past couple days, it dries down to this like woody, uh, lavender type of note. I will say that this is an elegant and smooth fragrance, but this one doesn't excite me at all. Allow me to explain. It's not really much involved into this fragrance. And I feel like that this was um, somewhat of an attempt to get close to this guy here. Call me crazy, but I feel like this is a very close version of Coach for Men. But I feel like the Ralph's Club perfume is like a not livelier version. The reason why I say it's a less livelier attempt at Coach for Men EDT is because even with this EDT, you get that apple and that lavender that really sticks out through and through on the duration of this fragrance. On the Ralph's Club, you get that at the beginning, but then it just goes down into this woodsy, just bland type of um, note. And I mean, which is not bad, but it's just, it lacks personality. In regards to the performance on this one, I think the projection is gonna be the biggest problem. On my skin, after like 30 minutes, it really settles down, but that is just from my particular spray. So it could be a lot different from someone else smelling it on me. Um, the longevity is not bad at all. You know, the longevity, I, I get it still, you know, hours later, it stays on my skin, but it becomes more so of a closer to the skin scent. While this is not a bad fragrance at all, and I feel like you could rock this really during the nighttime, you could rock it during a dinner date, you could really rock it in um, a few other places, even at the club, I feel like it's versatile that way too. But if you're really wanting to experience something like different within the dry down, you're not really getting. It's like what you're getting from the beginning is kind of what you're getting at the end for the most part. So according to the notes here on Macy's, you have the top notes is Lavadin, Apple Accord, Grapefruit, middle notes are Clary Sage, Geranium, Orange Blossom Absolute, and your bottom notes are the Virginia Cedarwood, Vetiver, Patchouli, and Cashmarin. I feel like Ralph's Club is likable, but I feel like that is doing just enough just to get by. You know that that student in school that he's only getting B's and you know he can get A's and he's just sticking right there just because he's like he's comfortable in that position. I feel like that this is what Ralph's Club is. You're just not going over and beyond, man. So as I mentioned before, guys, I don't think that this is a bad pickup at all. It's not a bad fragrance. It's it's super likable, but to me, for the three ounce to pay 140 bucks, I believe it's a 3.4 ounce. And also the 1.7, which is 105 bucks. I think personally, I will wait for discounters before I actually pick this one up. Like I said, it's not bad. It's very likable, but it just, it lacks the oomph that it needs to really get me excited about this fragrance. All in all, my opinion, guys, if you guys are considering Rouse Club Parfum, I would seriously put my nose and consider Coach for Mint EDT. You'll get this for a fraction of a cost at discounters right now, opposed to this one right now since it's brand new. Um, and I think you guys may like the personality on this one 
a bit more than you would with Ralph's Club. So yeah, that's my opinion, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you find it useful. Let me know what you guys think below in the comment section. I appreciate you guys for locking in. As always, you guys have been rocking with Mills and Frequently Locked. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.